about Charlie's life. Fat Charlie was only ever fat for a handful of years, from shortly before the age of 10, which was when his mother announced to the world that if there was one thing she was over and done with, and if the gentleman in question had any argument with it, he could just stick it you know where, it was her marriage to that elderly goat that she had made the unfortunate mistake of marrying, and she would be leaving in the morning for somewhere a long way away, and he had better not try to follow, to the age of 14, when Fat Charlie grew a bit and exercised a little more. He was not fat. Truth to tell, he was not really even chubby. Simply slightly soft looking around the edges. But the name Fat Charlie clung to him, like chewing gum to the sole of a tennis shoe. He would introduce himself as Charles, or inviting a sea Nancy. But it was no use. The name would creep in, infiltrating the new part of his life just as cockroaches invade the cracks and the world behind the fridge in a new kitchen. And like it or not, and he didn't, he would be Fat Charlie again. It was new because his father didn't know it. And his father gave him his name, they stuck. There was a dog who had lived in the house across the way, in the Florida street on which Fat Charlie had grown up. It was a chestnut-coloured boxer, long-legged and pointy-eared, with a face that looked like the beast had.